Operational research, or OR, is all about using maths and analytics to solve problems and make better decisions. OR can be used to tackle complex, messy problems, or it can be used to improve the way things are being done. Some businesses use OR to help make their customers happier or to help make more profit. But other organisations use OR to help tackle big problems like global warming and the COVID pandemic. In this video, I'm going to give you a few examples of how people use operational research to solve problems and also some advice so you know how you can start a successful career in OR. First, let's start by looking at some of the ways operational research is used. When the Arsenal football ground, the Emirates Stadium, was designed, part of that process was demonstrating that the building was safe. This meant proving everybody inside could be evacuated in just eight minutes if needed, even at full capacity with 60,000 people inside. Computer models were used to simulate how crowds of people were likely to move through the building and how long it would take them to exit the building. This enabled the designers to check for bottlenecks and places where extra stairs or doors would keep people moving safely. Not only was the war important in keeping everyone at a concert or a football match safe, but it was really useful for the designers. They used simulation to avoid spending millions of pounds on a building that wasn't safe for them to use. OR researchers developed an algorithm that increases the number of kidney transplants that take place. It's common for a friend or family member to offer to donate a kidney to a patient, but unfortunately, factors such as blood type can often mean they're not compatible. The algorithm matches people up so that a family member of patient 1 can donate a kidney to patient 2, and patient 2's family member can donate their kidney to patient number 1. Not only does the algorithm match people up based on their medical compatibility, but it can also match them up based on location and suggest a hospital that's nearby to both patients and has all their resources to carry out the operations. These algorithms help to save lives. Supermarkets are a great example of businesses with complex decisions to make. They have to ensure that their shelves are stocked with thousands of products in hundreds of stores to make sure that their customers can buy the things they want, when they want. Analysts working for supermarkets can look at data collected from customer loyalty cards to optimise supermarket deliveries. They can suggest when individual stores should stock up on a particular product. This ensures their deliveries are perfectly timed to stop shops from running out or having too much of something. Once the analysts have optimised what should be in the lorries, they will optimise the routes the lorries should take. They can decide to optimise for the quickest route or the most fuel efficient route. If a delivery is going to multiple stores, they can find the optimal order for stores to be visited in. There are many more OR techniques that can be used, things like modelling, queuing theory and systems dynamics. There are lots of things you can do in OR and there are lots of places that you can work from retail, entertainment and sports, to finance, government and defence, there are loads of options open to you. On screen now are some logos from some companies that you can work in in operational research. These companies aren't endorsed by the OR Society, but the household names should hopefully give you an idea of how big the field of operational research is. If you're interested in a career in OR, there are several things you should know. If you're weighing up your A-level options, you should consider taking maths, further maths, business studies, or any other science or technology A-levels. If you are considering your university options, there are lots of universities that offer degrees in OR, and you can visit our website for a list of those. But one really important thing that you should know is that not all OR degrees have OR in the title. You should keep your eyes peeled for degrees in data science or business analytics, as well as operational research. Degree level apprenticeships can also be a really good route into operational research. And if you're not sure that a degree in OR is for you, that's completely fine. Many OR employers look for graduates with any STEM or numerate degree, so there are plenty of options that you can take and keep the door to OR open. Other skills that are really important for a career in operational research are analytical problem solving skills to help you tackle problems, 
and really strong communication skills to help you explain your ideas to people. Thank you very much for watching our video about OR. If you'd like to learn more about OR, please visit our website. And we've also got more videos talking about OR on our YouTube channel. Thank you.